Hello, my name is Ventislava Pejkova. I'm coming from Bulgaria. I'm a student here, third semester, computer science and communication engineering. I'm Brandon Tupens. Uh, I study computer science and I come from the USA. I come from Cameroon and I study computer science and communication engineering at the University of Duisburg. The University of Duisburg Essen lies in the rural area, the region with the largest population and highest density of industrial and service undertaking in Germany. The university consists of numerous faculties, which are spread over the cities Duisburg and Essen. In winter 2002, a study program called International Studies in Engineering was started. It is composed of bachelor and master degree course in the fields of computer engineering, computer science and communication engineering, control and information systems, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering and material technology. We start in Duisburg city center, just a short walking distance away from the main station where you can find the B complex. The B complex accommodates the Department of Electrical Engineering and Information Sciences, which also includes communications engineering, high frequency technology, power electronics, nanotechnology, computer engineering, and many other disciplines. The B complex is home not only to lecture and seminar rooms, but also to several labs for practical training and research. One of these labs is the High Voltage Experimental Station, which is used as a testing area for high voltage equipment. Now we take the tram to reach the outlying ST complex. The ST building is situated in the midst of a ThyssenKrupp facility, a perfect site for the Department of Material Technology. The best exchange of knowledge and innovations between industry and research takes place here. A bachelor degree in Material Technology is already being offered. The master program will follow soon. In this degree course, students study steel making and metal forming as well as foundry, glass and ceramics technology. The labs are equipped with casting and forge machinery, blast furnaces, and injection molding. Coming back to the main building, we start again from B complex. And after a short walk, we finally reach the L complex. The 
L complex is the largest site of the campus Duisburg. Many auditoriums and seminar rooms are used by students primarily enrolled in informatics, humanities, social and economic sciences. However, engineering students also have language courses, seminars and practicals in this complex. The university administration is also located at the L complex. The L complex is also the location of the main data processing center, which provides network services and is the internet backbone for students and university members. The U Café serves as a meeting point for students during their free time. For engineering, another exciting place is the M Complex, which is located close to the L Complex. The M complex is also called the cookie boxes because of its shape. The modern architecture houses first class lecture and seminar rooms. Most students who are enrolled in mechanical engineering or natural sciences come to use the lecture rooms and the well equipped experimental labs. Engine development and highly loaded thermal turbo machines are only a few examples of research programs. This institute is working on flow analysis and developing new ideas for motors. Rapid prototyping enables the creation of complex sample shapes via laser technology. The Institute of Mechatronics does research on artificial lakes for the manipulation of heavy loads in unstructured environments. The M complex has its own cafe with internet facilities and places to hook up with other students. A few years ago, the new building for the Center of Solid State Electronics and Optor Electronics was built. Inside, clean rooms assure that semiconductors and microelectronic devices can be produced and tested without external disturbances. As a partner of the University of Duisburg Essen, the Fraunhofer Institute has built their Intelligent House. There, the new high tech equipment designed for private households is being tested for everyday life situations. Our next station is the campus in the city Essen, which is just a few kilometers away from Duisburg. In this part of the university, you can also find a wide selection of lecture rooms and laboratories, as well as seminar rooms, cafes and canteens. Since the merge of the university, the faculties of humanities and social sciences are more and more concentrated on the campus of Essen whilst studies and engineering are mainly located at Campus Duisburg. Chemical and civil engineers still have their laboratories and testing facilities at Campus Essen. The libraries provide the university's academic staff members and students with books and information services. They are also open to the public for education and research purposes. Every complex of the university has its own library, Students come together for collective learning whilst making use of the study rooms inside the libraries. The libraries have more than 2.5 million books to offer, a wide range of databases, approximately 6,000 magazines and a considerable number of electronic publications and dissertations are also available. There are six cafeterias and seven cafes in the University of Duisburg Essen, of which each complex has its own. The students and university staff members go there for lunch or just to have a break. A 
every night falls, and you want to go to party, you can. There are lots of student parties and discos around the whole rural area. We hope you had an interesting and pleasant ride through the University of Duisburg Essen. If you want to gather more information about the university and its international studies in engineering, feel free to visit our website www.uniduisburgessen.de/ic.